Well, it just keeps getting better and better for Mario, Nintendo, the cinematic universe, and everybody involved, including Illumination, of course. And guess what? Those theater owners, they've gotten a little tired of movies underperforming from Disney, but Mario, oh Mario, he's making them say, Wahoo! And you're not going to believe how high the projections are starting to go. Now, Universal is starting to wonder, could they actually have the high score? Hello and warmest greetings to everybody out there. I love getting to do a positive story. I love good news. And today I have definitely some good news, especially for everybody involved in the theaters and entertainment. All the people who make money and their livelihoods are dependent on successes. Well, we have a major success to talk about today. <laughs> the NCU, the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. We're going to see them all. We are witnessing the birth of a new giant franchise, one that could deliver the goods for decades to come. And frankly, I think that's something to celebrate. Before we do, if you like content like this, consider clicking the like button, share, subscribe, and you can stick it to the algorithms when you click it. We're talking about the notification bell. We cover your comments, so please drop one down below. This coming to us from uh, Gizmodo, by Justin Carter, first Mario Brothers movie reaction, say it brings fan service, but not much else. That's a cutesy way of saying this is going to be phenomenally successful with families, because guess what, folks? That's what they want. They want fan service. They want a happy movie. They want to have a good time. They do not want uh, what we have been getting out of some of these other companies that have tried to delve into more divisive and uh, sociopolitically charged material. No, we want Mario to be a scrappy plumber who saves the princess from a dragon, leans into those very long-standing, uh, poignant uh, philosophies and archetypes and deliver, delivers something great to us. That's what we want out of Mario. We want this little character that we have used as sort of our own avatar, right? He plays the, 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 the background music of our childhoods, the things that we love to do, the bright colors, that's what we want out of Mario. So bring that to us. Here's the article. Uh, it's talking about the fact that people have now seen the movie, and so far they're very pleased, even if this, I love the title, say it brings fan service, but not much else. Seriously, come on, watch this. There was never going to be a world where Illumination Super Mario Brothers movie wasn't going to be a big deal. Oh, yes, there was, because guess what? There's a world where Pixar movies and Disney movies aren't a big deal. So there is definitely a world where that could happen. It looks like it's not going to happen because they've put together a good movie. But after that initial reveal where Chris Pratt got announced to play Mario alongside Charlie Day's Luigi and Jack Black's Bowser, the energy around the film has gradually shifted as more footage for it's been released. What? Anyway, ahead of its release next week, it sounds like the Super Mario Brothers movie is what some of its most or more recent promos have indicated. A pretty solid flick that'll hit big with families and nostalgic Nintendo fans. Also known as nearly everybody on the planet. Um, it's going to hit big with families. Well, guess what almost all of us have? families. <laughs> like, come on. Okay. The film's social media embargo ended last night, that was two nights ago at the time of this video, to coincide with its red carpet premiere, and impressions seem to be mostly positive. The animation, its faithfulness to the games, appear to be highlights, along with the score from film composer Brian Tyler. And if those things matter to you, several impressions have noted it contains a good amount of Easter eggs and fan service. Conversely, folks such as our own, Jermaine Lucier, have called it out for having a weak narrative and leaning a little too hard on the kitty humor that runs through Elimination Films. Oh yeah, because Minions is doing so poorly. Oh yes, Puss in Boots is doing so poorly. How dare they lean into kitty humor for a kitty film? Good Lord, what do you want? Shakespeare out of Mario? As far as the voices go, Black's take on Bowser has been getting talked up the most, though it sounds like Luigi's a close second and Pratt does a solid job with Mario. All right, let's get into the real stuff. Here's what you need to know. Here's some tweets from University Film Review. The Super Mario Brothers movie does not disappoint. A fun and delightful time at the movies the whole family can enjoy. A definite crowd pleaser. Jack Black as Bowser was perfect casting and was my favorite character on screen. One of the best animated movies I've seen in a long time. Compare that to this title. It says it brings fan service, but not much else. Oh, I'm sorry. One of the best animated movies I have seen in a long... Oh, I'm. Uh, that seems better than that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Adam, 
review hilarious and magical delight a charming adventure with a nintendo plumbing duo full of fun cameos that'll drain your warp pipes i i i don't know what that means let's adam let's let's make sure to catch the pro show thursdays 5 to 7 eastern time entertainment explained the culture curve conquered live with pro and all his friends This isn't just another video game movie. It's one of the best family films ever. A fitting end setting up what's next. What's next is the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. That's what's next. What's next is doing for fans what we've wished Disney would do for so long. Create animated fun films that families can enjoy. Let's continue. From Eric Davis. Wahoo! The Super Mario Brothers movie is the ultimate love letter to every era of Mario. Love the humor, especially Jack Black's Bowser. I felt the same watching the movie as I do playing the games. Folks, if people enjoy this movie as much as they enjoy the Mario games, this is going to be a massive blockbuster. It's just joyful. Also, stay for the credits. What does that remind us of? Huh. These cinematic universes, they, they've got some credits, don't they? They've got some stuff in the credits. Let's continue reading these. Super Mario Brothers movie embargo is up. This is by Rindy Jones. The Mario worlds are brought to life with top-notch animation and energetic action that will delight kids and fans full of loving Easter eggs and cameos. That said, it's a Mario movie made by Illumination, and I'll leave it at that. Okay, Rindy, we'll go with that one. Here's, here's one that you all need to see. This is by Dio. It, Super Mario Brothers movie is not great. That being said, it's perfect. I haven't felt like this for an animated movie since the 2014 Lego movie, which by the way, the Lego movie from 2014, not the sequel, the sequel is, well, very much less than the first one, but the Lego movie from 2014 is phenomenal. If you have forgotten how good that movie is and the deep uh, meaning behind it, go watch it again. You'll be reminded. Stunning animation and music by Brian Tyler. It's gonna be big. Give me the cinematic universe. Well, Dio, I've been saying this for a while, and it's coming. You're going to get the cinematic universe. I've been trying to tell you guys about this. Uh, first on the block to bring this out and say, hey, they're not making Mario 2. They're, it, we're going all out. This is the Iron Man of, of uh, the, the Nintendo world. This is going to kick off everything else. Now, here's what I want you to see. Isn't this fun, folks? Isn't this fun to have a positive, happy video? Don't you love this? Compared to having to always be like, yeah, well, they're thinking about closing down Pixar. You know, I feel like Eeyore when I'm covering Disney stuff. And here we are. Exciting, fun stuff. This from Deadline. This one's a while back. I'm using it to make a comparison. I want you to see this. Anthony D'Alessandro on this one, March 16th. Super Mario Brothers movie to score at least 85 to 90 million off the five day, but it's bound to mushroom early box office. Look, and so it went on to talk about, again, this is only what, two weeks ago? Talk about how it's got an 85 to 90 million plus over, over its Wednesday through Sunday launch. You know, it was very good. Everybody's excited about that number. That's going to be great, right? Everybody's happy. All right, but check this out. Okay, April 2nd, yesterday, there's an article. Same author, Anthony D'Alessandro. Dungeons and Dragons locks up 38.5 million opening. Is this enough to start a franchise? And you would think, Pro, why do we care about Dungeons and Dragons? Well, you know, Pro is going to help you out. Watch this. Okay, so Dungeons and Dragons. 38.5 million. They're asking, is it enough to start a franchise? Answer that, probably not. Okay, sorry to the D&D &D folks who wanted this to be good. It's middling, and this is probably not enough to, to start off a franchise. But what we're looking for is right here, underneath this picture of Mario, uh, we've got, in addition, as we mentioned before, this is a tough spot talking about for, for Dungeons & Dragons. Before Super Mario Brothers. The good news, at least for Paramount, is that Illumination slash Universal movie isn't doing any Tuesday sneaks. For a lucrative property such as Super Mario Brothers, no need to do previews on Bargain Tuesdays. D&D &D with a third of kids off from school tomorrow could see a nice hold on Monday and Tuesday. For those of you who don't know, there's a third of kids off from school because this is a big spring break uh, week. So many of the schools are using this one, tying it in with the Easter holiday for their spring break week. So that's what's going on want to explain that because we do have many, many international viewers now, not living in the United States, who may not understand what's going on there. However, walking away from the energy of the Super Mario Brothers world premiere last night, two nights ago, in downtown Los Angeles, get ready for this, you can feel a huge tidal wave is coming in. Folks, how long have I been saying this now? And now the media, 
is just catching on that this is going to be huge. All this movie needed was for the reviews to go well, and it, it is just going to be a tsunami of goodwill. And here it comes. This is par for the course before the weekend of a truly mammoth movie. Moviegoers, moviegoers curb their spending. Okay, pause there for a moment. Let's go back, okay? Let's go back. Here's the older article, remember? This is only two weeks ago, 85 to 90 million five-day. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Now what do we have, folks? Read this with me. Right now, the five-day on Super Mario Brothers is $125 million. This thing has went up by 25% in two weeks, and it's not stopping. Here's what D'Alessandro says. But there are crazy numbers out there, and Universal is trying to wrangle expectations. You know what that means? That means that the top end for this movie, based on these reviews that are coming out, based on the people who have seen the premiere and now are saying, whoa, this is Lego Movie 2014 good, but it has the backing of a character who could, I mean, this could explode worldwide. Illumination Universal's Minions Rise of Gru posted the best opening for an animated movie during you-know-what era, by the way. Just throw that, throw that out. That, that's, I'm so tired of this. That era is over. It was over when Minions Rise of Gru came out. We're done with it. With 107 million three day, 123 million four day. The biggest opening ever for an animated movie belongs to Disney Pixar's Incredibles 2, which by the way was not very good, especially compared to the original, with 182.6 million. Perhaps all the people who went and saw that and spent all that money decided, hey, why doesn't this look like the original uh, Incredibles that I loved? Why is the story so different? Maybe that's what has led to a souring over time. Does the Easter holiday pull in more casual moviegoers who'll spend their cash over the whole theatrical marketplace and not just Mario? Well, let me explain how this is going to work, folks. It isn't going to go, it isn't going to go in the favor of Dungeons and Dragons. That's not what is going to happen. Why? Because that, that has the same demographic as Mario. And you might say, no, it doesn't. Mario has families and kids. Dungeons and Dragons is leaning in big time into the gaming audience. Everybody who's in the gaming audience, they want to see Mario. They don't want to go watch a lackluster D&D. The other movie that is going to benefit, this is what Pro says, right? The other movie that's going to benefit from Mario having a massive, colossal success at the box office is going to be John Wick 4. John Wick 4 will benefit because John Wick 4 does not cater to the same demographic at all, right? Mario is going to be a family-friendly film. John Wick 4 is the very mature film. Those two sides will benefit, right? We've talked about this before. We've said that dads, dads who want to go watch something more edgy may say, hey, take them to see Mario. I'll go watch John Wick 4. Honestly, though, Mario may be so big that it even uh, takes over these audiences like the dads that we were discussing before. It, it may just simply be that big. There is, there is no ceiling at this point that seems out of reach for Mario. In two weeks, we've gone from uh, 90 million being the top end to 125 million being the top end. That could rise in the next few days as we get close to this Wednesday, Thursday. And it's really genius on the part of everybody involved in this movie. By doing a Wednesday, Thursday, this has time. And, and it just, it demonstrates confidence. I'm telling you, it really demonstrates confidence because what they're saying is with that Wednesday release, we believe in this movie enough that we're going to put it on a Wednesday and Thursday and let word of mouth drive an entire weekend. Drive an entire Easter weekend. It's bright. It, it's colorful. It fits right in with the mood of everybody. Also, the world right now, politically and ideologically, is reaching a boiling point. We're not going to talk about that and why. But in those kinds of situations where people are looking at uh, the world around them and saying, hmm, this looks, this looks a little scary and stressful, People want to go see something happy, bright, and optimistic. We're getting all of that out of Mario. Everything is lining up for this thing to be huge. And if it is huge, then the Nintendo Cinematic Universe uh, takes off like a rocket from the, from the get-go. This thing is going to blast out of the gates with giant success. So, again, I love happy and positive stories. I love happy and positive things to tell you about, and this is one of them. The only person who's suffering in this situation is Disney. And that's only because Disney has made decisions which have separated them from this kind of success and this kind of goodness that audiences are surely going to show Mario because Mario is showing them 
just unbridled goodness, non-divisive content, the opportunity to bring families all together and present happiness, brightness, optimism, all that. So let's do it. Let's go. The Nintendo Cinematic Universe is on the way. I think we're all going to have a very good time with it. All right, folks, if you like content like this, click the like button, share, subscribe, and you can stick it to the algorithms. When you click it, we're talking about the notification bell. You've heard the video now. You know what I had to say. Do you agree? Do you disagree? We covet your comments. Drop one down below and let us know your thoughts, please. Don't forget the pro show, uh, Thursdays, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. And this pro show coming up, we're actually going to announce memberships for the channel, explain what all this is, and we are going to empower citizen journalism through those memberships in a way that you've never seen done before on any other channel. You do not want to miss that pro show. Finally, folks, we are doing the Mario Review this Wednesday. So the afternoon video Wednesday will feature the Mario Review. I will tell you exactly what I thought after I come out of the theaters. It will be ready to go at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time this Wednesday. If you don't trust anybody else, I promise, whether it's good, bad, or in between, I'm just going to lay it out straight. I think the Nintendo Cinematic Universe is going to be huge, but I am not going to come out of the Mario movie and uh, decide to slant my opinion or change my biases or anything like that. I'm just going to lay out straight what I think will happen and how I felt about the movie. So be there. Don't be square uh, unless you're hitting a square question block box like Mario. All right, folks, uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun. Wahoo!